download the counting.xls file from the info section below from the YouTube channel. Once you've downloaded counting.xls file, double click on the file. It is compatible with Excel 97 and Excel 2003. Just enable your macros. This is basically similar to the number grid, but this is in the form of counting numbers. Again, the actual Excel file is locked, but you can print it off and use it as a worksheet. What you can do in here is again click on the generate grid button to generate this grid. What it does is it generates a times table grid or a counting grid. And what we have is counting in steps of one across there and down there. While we have counting in steps of two on the next row and the next column down. Similarly, counting in steps of three, count down in column three and across in row three, which is row 12 in Excel. <coughs> but on the grid, it's row three. So what we what you want to do in here is fill in the missing colored cells with numbers. These are the ones highlighted in, in the color here and explain how you work them out. What you want is number pattern recognition. In this case, you've got numbers uh, in steps of one going down in column one, in steps of two going down in column two on the grid, steps of three, steps of four, and so on up to your 12 times table. And you'd have the similar pattern going across on this grid in steps of one, two, three, up to steps of 12, taking to, taking it to a 12 by 12 grid, which is 144 cells. Now, <coughs> what you want to do is try and get the child to fill in just the colored cells first to see if that if they can recognize the patterns without having to fill all the other cells. Once they fill in the colored cells, tell them to explain it to you. If they can't, then try try to see what patterns are built, being built up working downwards in each column. And you, they'll usually realize that it's going up in steps of twos. So if they fill in all the other cells, then they'll be able to fill in the colored cells along with it. So enjoy, download, print it, and you won't see the button again generate grid button but you can print the worksheet download it from the info section on YouTube cheers